click on that, you go down to the name and you can choose input and then go down, tab down and you can um, there we go. I'll open that up and uh, take output. Now here's where it says uh, where do you want to save the regression. You, we've got F1 taken now so it's going to go into F2. It'll always go to the next empty one. You can ignore everything else in here um, until you get down to where do you want the results to show up? And because we're sitting in this first cell of column C, it's going to show everything starting with column D. So once we have that, we press OK, and then we see everything. You know, here's the slope, here's the output intercept, here's the R squared, the R factor, residuals, and so forth. Now the question is, how do we see a scatter plot? because that's what we need. We, we needed to see the scatter plot before we chose the linear. We should have done that first. Okay, so I'm going to go to, um, I'm actually going to go to uh, pick up another graph page. And what we need to do, we are drawing functions. We want to draw scatter plot. Remember back in the 84, you had to go into the uh, stat menu and choose the type of, of you know, okay, same thing here. So we go to menu, we go to graph type, and there's our scatter plot. Menu, graph type, scatter plot. Now we've got to tell it where's the input value. Uh, if we click on that, okay, that's not trying to think of how you guys, how you do it here. Um, you know, only way I can think of right now is we've got this key called variable and our input, so we would go here to X, we would hit variable and our input would go there and if we tab I was thinking there was a way to open that up without, but go to variable. Let me go back here. I've gotten myself into into something. Um, okay. Let me um, do some undos here. And we'll um, start over again. And I go to graph type and I go down to scatter plot. Okay. And I go to variable. There's my input. And I tab down. I go to variable. And there's my output. And just like with the other graph, we're not going to see it until we press enter. Now I obviously need to change my window in order to see this. So I'm going to go to menu and to window settings. And I'll make this, um, oh, negative 5 tenths tab. Um, what did I use as a, probably, a, I'll use 30. And tab, and we'll, I'll count by every five units there. And um, negative 5 tenths on my output minimum. And we'll do 30 again and count by fives again. So I'm going to set a window that looks something like that. Um, if you go to menu and uh, it says window and do window settings. Okay. So there's my there's my scatter plot. Okay. Now we already did the regression piece of it. And so I know that um, it's sitting there waiting for me, but remember I am in a graph type of scatter plot, I need to go back to function. You can see how much more difficult this is than using that data and statistics one. That's why I want to show you that. Um, if I use, if I come down and um, 
use the up arrow there, I believe, is that one that we had, and, and it's there. Okay. So you got a couple ways to do it. I highly recommend you use the data and statistics the first way. It's just a little faster to work with. Uh, it gets you the same result. You don't have the residuals, but we're not really talking about that in here. Any questions on this? I know it's, it's a lot of button pushing on this stuff. And again, if you don't want to use it, it's okay. It's okay. Just write it on your paper. Okay, is there anything else? I've got another uh, example I can give you. Is there anything else, though, that um, you can think of that you'd like to ask me while we have the little free time? Okay. Let me... Um, ask you a question. Actually, it's A through E, but you'll get the idea. So it should be A through E. A is a little, B or E is a lot. It should come up on your on your Inspire. You're saying some of you didn't get the question? Okay. If it didn't come up, let's try this. Um, take it off the cradle and put it back on. See if you can jump start it to... Um, Again, this class is not about how to use the Inspired Cast, but it definitely is a tool. If you don't know how to use a pencil, you're at a little disadvantage. In fact, today, if you don't know how to use a computer, you're at a real disadvantage. And I want to, since we had the time, I thought uh, this might help. Yeah, there we go. We got a few more people who have. <laughs> okay. If, it, if you didn't get the question, oh, yeah, some of those are new and they still are rather snug. If you didn't get the question, just take it off and put it back on. <laughs> now, one of the things I do when I am not in classes is that I will be talking to some teachers at another school about using the Inspire and the Inspire Navigator. So I will be relating some of your experiences, some of the things that I know you've had some questions about. Okay. Well, we will, there we go. So let's, um, we'll stop that and um, let me just take a look. Okay. Pretty much a bell curve on that. And that's, uh, that's pretty good. I feel, I feel good about this. Although if you're down there at the A where you know very little about it, if you want to know more and want to do more with that, all you have to do is ask. Uh, Math Lab is open. And so something else I wanted to announce to you, Math Lab is open and uh, the hours are posted on 2.36 and 2.37. Um, we have Mrs. Diltz who's in there. She is our Math Lab director and we have some student tutors who can sit down with you. Um, I will be getting back to you just as quickly as I can. I think I've not been too tardy in getting answers back to you on WebAssign. 
and I will continue to do that. Uh, we now know where to find the answers that I send to you, so that helps a lot. Yes? Shh. Yes, go back into the assignment and, ask, and click on Ask Your Teacher. Okay, now next Tuesday on the quiz, what I'm going to do, I will have a quiz ready for you and I will be sending you the quiz through the navigator. You will read the quiz on your navigator. You will respond if you feel comfortable doing so on the navigator, but everyone's going to have a sheet of paper they're going to hand in also. And you're going to tell me it's on the navigator. You know, it's, it's on page 2.1 or whatever on the navigator. So I know where to go and look, and I will be comparing both of those. Then I will, after I grade the papers, I will, and don't expect them back on Thursday. It may take me a week to get them back with everyone's papers needing to be graded. Then I will send them to you, um, back to you, and you have a chance then to look. I don't often write comments, type comments on the TNS file, but I made this semester because more of you are more tech savvy than any students I've ever had before, some of you, okay? Um, so that's how, what it's going to be. It will be on algebra review. So anything in chapter one is open for me to ask a question on. Okay. This is a rare, rare occurrence. I'm going to let you go four minutes early. Okay. So enjoy your four minutes today, and I will see you next Tuesday. Yeah, Hakeem, I know that you're not feeling as comfortable with the Inspire. You're not feeling as comfortable with the Inspire. I mean, I just have a message. I'll be fine with Okay, okay. I just have a really message. Okay. I can encourage you to have a really good message.